Today's captain's blog is made possible by a grant from Stephen Riesland. Thank you, sir. Hello, guys. Welcome to today's captain's blog. So, a friend of mine got me a really awesome thing called a love sack as a gift. It's this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go up, we're going to set it down right there. Oh, man, okay. Up. So, this is a love sack. It is a spheroid thing. It's a, uh, a beanbag chair, and they're the greatest, most amazing beanbag chairs ever made. The problem is, they floof. A lot. And I'm in the process of getting ready to start building my house and all that jazz, and the friend who gave it to me is in the process of moving to a different country, so I had to bring it somewhere to store it, and this has to fit in this. That's the bag. Now, Lovesack sells a kit for like, they're not bad, they're like 60 bucks. They sell a kit to shrink your sack. And I really thought you could just do that with steroids. But I don't have the money to buy the kit to shrink my sack, so I have to manually shrink my sack. Thankfully, I'm a science nerd. So we're going to use science to shrink my sack. Also, the kit they sell, there's a video for it, and I watched the video, and they say, but the kit is basically just a bag to put it in, you hook it to your home vacuum. And they're like, your home vacuum isn't going to be anywhere near as powerful as our vacuum. So we're going to, the kits they sell, the, the comes with a new bag, and the bag is a size bigger than the bag it comes with because your vacuum doesn't suck hard enough to shrink your sack properly. So I'm like, I can do science to this. So for like eight bucks, you can buy a roll of Visqueen that's 10 by 25. And uh, yeah, this is the three and a half mil looks like it'll do. The problem is it's only 10 feet across, so this may be a little difficult because we've got a pretty hefty sphere. So what we're going to do is using some atmospheric physics, we're going to attempt to shrink my sack. So I'm going to get some stuff set up, and we'll be back in a minute. But we're going to use science to shrink my sack. And this is going to be cool. We'll be back. Okay, time is 12.08. Kick it.
to do is pop this off. Yeah, pop. Good, good luck. Well, it's going to start expanding right away. No, well, that isn't going to help. No. It's not going to go... Wait, I'm oh, we've got a leak. Where? Here. Huh? You can hear it. You can hear it. Maybe it's the seal. It's not the We just have the wrong shape. Yeah. yeah. If we do I, it again and make sure that we wind up longer. Alright, yeah. here we go, everybody squish.
that. All right, let it go. We gotta pop it quicker with those zipper. Let go. Can we get that corner? Like, can we get the two in, in, a, <laughs> in into a corner instead of the middle? What do you mean? The, put the hose in the corner? Like, have this opening right here at the last possible place. Exactly. Or we could just get a bunch of tie down straps and wrap it around. That's what I was thinking. Wrap it together, or wrap rope it and wrap it around, full it tight. Go get some tie down straps. You know how a baler works, don't you? Yeah, but. Wow, that's not a bad idea. No. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't even thought of that. That's clever. Hi, dog. Are you helping? She's a helper. I'm just going to sit here and hold this. Well, I have cupcakes for you. You have cupcakes? Hey, uh, give me electric tape. Okay. Got an idea. Ish. Parts of an idea. Uh oh. I have a nebulous it's not concept. That could be an idea that doesn't suck. You going to cut a new hole? I'm going to cut a new hole. Over here, where we okay. need the hole. Oh, yeah. I feel like this is the black and white footage in some kind of product that helps you pack your luggage. <laughs> totally worth not spending the six Because this some is way more fun. Some All right. Electrical tape. Right here.
We've got some ridiculously powerful vacuum pumps. What, like build a chamber to... No, like with a... a like a just a, a better bag, though. But, like, we've got that big giant white vacuum pump on the top shelf. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we've yeah, got a total I molecular vacuum that's, pump. Uh, I think that's more quantity versus it is. part of them. But we've got roughing pumps, we've got piston pumps, we've got rotary vane pumps, we've got turbo molecular vacuum pumps. Like, I can take that thing down to nothing. It's just, yeah. Like, with the vacuum pumps that we have, we start putting everything in series and get this thing down to the size of a volleyball. Like, there's a point where you're going to hit the limit to the material. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be a plastic ball at that, it'll be really hard. But That's with 15 PSI, like, atmospheric pressure is about 14.7, mm -hmm. give or take. That's got to be able to get that down really tiny. And it's a really cool demonstration of just what you can do with atmospheric pressure. Well, it's the is we got to get an old milk truck. Draw a vacuum on that until the whole thing implodes. I'm all for doing this. You find somebody who wants to give me a milk truck or a tank car or something mm -hmm. along those lines. All right, so that's how to shrink your love sack. It is physically possible to get it back in the original bag, but you're going to need a couple friends and about eight bucks worth of Visqueen. And use electrical tape. Don't use don't use this. The the Scotch shipping tape is not. It doesn't conform enough for this. You just use plain old electrical tape. It works great. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. That's today's captain's blog. That's it.